Hi guys, I'm just doing a little video on my MN45, the uh, FJ uh, truck, and it's a little bigger than my other ones, 112, so just for size comparison, you can see it's taller than the uh, WPL, and it's taller than the FAE, and uh, it's longer, bigger tires, I really like the size. So uh, basically what I did right away, we're living through that uh, virus so luckily I got this thing and then all shipping was stopped I'm in the Philippines so a lockdown we're meant to stay at home and all that but this got delivered and came I also ordered the lights it won't come with those on the roll bar but I have a uh, fly sky radio system so I ordered the LED lights that plug right into the receiver no wiring hassle at all so I drilled a couple little holes to screw them onto the roll bar made the hole bigger back there to fit the uh, LED bulbs through and then I also put those in the headlight plugged them right into the receiver works great painted the wheels silver because they're nice looking wheels I wanted to make them show up a little more otherwise they come black and then the Roof is white, the vintage, uh, how they were back in 1960 all the way to like 1980-something. But I went black on that. And then um, a friend of mine said the best thing, it comes with a 180 motor, but he said get the 260 motor. Uh, it comes complete, just over five U.S. dollars, the motor and the gearbox. So I put that in right away. And, yeah, a lot of power. Uh, when you see the ready to run ones with little 130s in them they can't climb a hill at all so this thing is great with the 260 and then i have a big uh esc it's like 60 amp and i velcroed it uh to the floor under the seat and then my battery is a 7.4 lithium ion and it's uh basically one just like this it's um an extra one i have for wl toys a rock racer and because what they do is they give you this battery box that you uh, screw underneath on the back. Well, it hangs way down, so it's going to get hung up if you're actually doing rock crawling with this thing. Plus, it puts the weight back there, and then you're popping wheelies when you're going up the hill. So I just um, one zip tie for that battery plus a little bit of electrical tape. It'll just stay there because it's an extra one. And then... Um, my all those uh, wires for the lights I just uh, kind of coiled them up and put a whatever a twist tie around it so uh, keeps it out of the way but that way I can still have an interior in there I don't have anything in my box the uh, WPL is kind of small I um, this was a kit too and I had a broken down um, PX toy speed pioneer so I put in the ESC all-in-one ESC receiver in this thing and I have a fan under there's no seat in there there's a fan and the receiver in there and then my battery velcros in the box there's just not a whole lot of room on this thing I, you know the ESC is kind of big I'm not running those little uh, pouch receivers so um, or ESC thing so yeah, it's a fun truck, but uh, it's hard to mount stuff. This thing, I love the size, no problem. So um, on the Faye that was ready to run, the only one I didn't build, they come with the 6-volt battery. There's not much power in that. Um, has a 180 motor because of the tracks, but I have a couple of boats, the JJRC boats, same connector, and it's 7.4. So that extra 1.4 volts wakes that thing up pretty good and gives it some power. In the future, I would like to um, get another 260 motor assembly and put in there, but then I'll need metal drive shafts because the drive shafts are completely different. Um, I'm just kind of jumping around and all kinds of stuff, but to modify this Toyota, I had one of those Tamiya Plasma Dash motors, 130 size, and it fit right in there. And, um, but, and it was really fast, but I ended up blowing gears in the gearbox and now with the lockdown, I can't get parts. So this one with the 180 motor and gearbox, I ended up putting it in here, but it was kind of a pain in the butt because the drive shafts are opposite. The big end were opposite on between the gearboxes as the small end. So I uh, popped them apart at the little U joints, heated it up 
the U joints with a hair dryer so I could kind of pop it apart and then switch them around and then uh, pinch them together with a plier so I didn't break anything. Uh, I have metal drive shafts on the way, but now lockdown, we can't get them. So basically, that's what I guess all RC guys are doing. We have to work with what we have now because we can't get the parts that we want. But this one's up and running again with the uh, stock 180. This one has the 260. And for now, this one's good enough. So we'll uh, go do a little run video. Uh, the only thing I'd like to do, uh, add some wheel weights. I already glued on my tires, uh, so it's too late to like wrap solder around the wheels. I see a lot of guys do give it some wheel weight. So later on, when I can freely go to the hardware store, I'll buy some washers, I think, and hot glue them on the inside of the wheel just to give it a little more weight because this is a pretty top-heavy body and it tips over once in a while. Um, some guys upgrade these with oil shocks, but I think this is perfect. It looks really nice. The body just kind of rocks and rolls as it's going over the bumps. All my faster ones, I always put oil shocks on. Uh, I got mostly WL toys, the buggies and those crazy little B models, the 118 scales. And then I've got Zingla Hongs. Those I put oil filled shocks because they're flying fast, but something like this isn't fast. So it looks very realistic with these shocks. Um, WPL is a little stiffer. This is really nice rock and roll. And then this is leaf spring, super stiff, hardly does anything. So um, well, those are just a couple of my little upgrades. Next, um, got a pretty nice gravel pit area basically to do a test drive. So thanks for watching. Maybe you can subscribe. And once I can order more rigs, I want to do some more scale crawlers. I want to do uh, like a military style truck with a flatbed on the back and repaint it and uh, put some bigger motors in, bigger tires and do some more scale stuff, I guess. I've done a lot of the fast stuff. So now I'm kind of trying something else. So thanks.